What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're talking about Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, so the movie hasn't come out yet, it comes out on the 20th of December or something like that, somewhere in the 20s of the December in Australia. And I'm just basing this video off the trailers that I've seen and I literally just saw them again on my laptop here before doing this video. And to be honest, this film is going to be painfully mediocre by the looks of it. It looks like it's just a updated version and a disney version of the Emoji movie. So it has a character finding out who they are online. It has a character who experiences all these new um, real world, for us real world, um, social media stuff such as YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram. It has Disneyland, a, a version of Disneyland in the internet itself. It looks like a giant ad for Disney coated with a little sugary substance on top just to give us that family kind of vibe because in the first two trailers of so the teaser and then the trailer itself the first trailer it really comes off as Disney just shoving all their products all their sponsors into this film itself you see Instagram snapchat you see Twitter birds just like you saw Twitter birds in the emoji movie you see Disneyland as they stated earlier. You see the princesses, every single princess. Then you see, except actually, I didn't see the one from Brave in the trailer, first trailer. Um, and then you see uh, Disneyland itself. You see Star Wars, Marvel, and everything. And it's just, it just seems like a giant ad for Disney. And it just doesn't look like it's gonna be that great. The second trailer turns it around though, because the second trailer adds more of that um, new kind of feel to it with a new race um, game and the fact that Penelope's feeling something that she doesn't want Rolf to find out, except we can clearly see that Rolf is going to find out. I just feel like these trailers give away too much of what's going to happen in the story itself, but aside from that, it just doesn't look that great. I'm gonna be honest, I laughed a few times. The first time I saw that princess scene, I thought it was really cool. I was like, oh wow, this is actually so cool seeing all the princesses together and everything. But then you realize it's just Disney promoting themselves. I remember there was a story where um, Disney wanted to put a Kylo Ren joke in the film itself, but Lucasfilm didn't want them to because they thought that it would make their intimidating villain um, less intimidating. But it's funny how Disney doesn't even have control over their own um, sub-company to be able to put that joke in there and for a pretty pathetic reason as well in my opinion but that's just a small thing I remember recalling that I heard in the news but this film itself, I'm not gonna go watch it in cinemas because I don't want to pay Disney to go watch a giant ad for Disney I'll, uh, the reviews are saying that it's pretty good but then again I think that it's because it relies so heavily on nostalgia and then it coats it, like I said earlier, with that um, thin layer of emotion and character development. It's also weird because in the trailer itself, in one trailer, Penelope looks like she's um, the one who knows about the internet and she's prompting um, R Ralph to go in and check the internet out. And in another trailer, Ralph is the one who's like, we can fix your video game here in the internet and he's the one who's promoting it. And then back in the next trailer, um, Penelope is the one who's promoting the internet and everything and it's just very in inconsistent. It's either maybe they both promoted at different times or they actually changed the footage, changed the film itself in post-production. They were like, you know what, we're going to rewrite this scene and change it into Penelope um, promoting the internet instead of Ralph. And, a trailer is meant to get you hyped for a film, it's meant to show you a little bit of what the film's going to be about. But when the trailer is just somewhat annoying and it just doesn't do its job. I just, it it has the popular music in it, so it has um, Daft Punk's Stronger, it has um, Never Gonna Give You Up in another trailer and it just it's just putting a lot of things that are making it out to be better than it is. And look, I love the first Rock and Ralph. I got emotional when um, Ralph was diving back into the um, Mentos mountain thingy and it was it was a really good movie. It was fun, enjoyable. It's not the best Disney movie um, of this era, 
but it's really good. And I'm just afraid that this is going to be somewhat like Incredibles 2, how it's a fun and enjoyable sequel, but then when you really look at it, there's actually quite a few problems with it. And I'm afraid that's the same thing, that's going to be the same thing with Ralph Breaks the Internet. Heck, they even have that meta joke in it where it's like, shouldn't it be Ralph Wrecks the Internet? And then they have this whole scene about it and everything, and it's just... <sighs> if you are going to watch it, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about why you're interested in the film, or just tell me why you're not interested in the film itself. Do you think this is a sequel cash grab for similar reasons that I think? Just promoting all these sponsors in there, just earning money off a already successful film. Already re-watching this trailer, so few of the jokes last, because I saw this trailer when they first came out, we watched it again today, and it's just not as funny as it first was. The princess scene, still a great scene. It's a giant ad though, like they're like, oh, well, you, they're making fun of themselves and that makes it good. Funny gets very irritated by that, but then I also find it funny. I think it's a good idea, but just, if there wasn't everything else that I saw, that giant Disneyland, the fact that they're treated like celebrities, the Star Wars characters, the Marvel characters, all the sponsors there, Twitter birds and Instagram, Snapchat, just... I'd like it even more. I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna be a 6.8 out of 10 for me when I watch it and I do my let's talk on it, 6.8 out of 10. So that's just a prediction for now and based on the trailers for Ralph Breaks the Internet, I don't think it's gonna be that great a movie, especially one that's even on par or even close to the first movie. Before I end this video guys, just let me know what you thought about this trailer itself in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Ralph Breaks the Internet? Do you think you're going to watch it in cinemas? Or do you think it's going to be what I think it is as well? It's going to be filled with giant product placements with a thin layer of story and development which is enough to entice people. Do you think it's going to be as good as the first? Or do you think it's going to be like what I think and just be better than average? But not amazing. Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.